Hi and welcome to the advert for my 1982 Porsche 928S. We're here today at the lovely Prestwold Hall in Leicestershire who have been uh, kind enough to let me use the front of this gorgeous building to uh, take some nice photos of my car. I think a car like this deserves it because it is very nice. So uh, let's kick off by having a quick uh, walk around the body. The car has just had a glass out respray. Um, side mouldings have been removed and the panels have actually been welded so there's no filler in there. I've got um, photographic evidence of, of the welding being done. And then round to the back, see it's absolutely looking lovely. It's got the period answer exhaust fitted and a genuine uh, replacement 928S decal. Nice to see, I've got uh, Porsche Centre Leicester plates on the car as well. For me it's all about the minor details on these things, I'm fussy. Um, original dealer sticker, well it's not actually original, it's one I had made to replicate the original one. Um, so hopefully you can see, it's a great day actually for, for filming a car. There's no damage or dents or anything to the panels, it was very very straight before it was painted and it was literally just painted just to tidy it up. Um, it's not hiding any nastiness, there was no repairs or bodywork needed before it was painted and it is of course painted in the original colour which is hell bronze so yeah hopefully that shows you uh, the condition of the body it's lovely really really nice the car's only done 82,000 miles and it does it does really show so moving to the interior unfortunately there's a few bits of uh, dirt and stuff on the floor just because I ran out of time and I couldn't have it hoovered. Um, so apologies for that. Okay. Instrument panel. Centre console. Everything's all fitted nicely and tight. No damage on the LCD display. The buttons here I'd describe as having natural patina. Just nicely worn in. Apologies for the bright sunlight. Door panel tops are all nice and straight. You see on a lot of 928s, the panel tops are always wavy and scruffy looking. All the clips have all been replaced in the doors when, they, when the panels came off, so now it shuts with a nice reassuring thunk and there's no rattles, there's no loose panels. Everything's rock solid, just as it should be. Round to the back. I have got the uh, original blind, but it's not, not fitted at the moment. There's some slight marks on the uh, rear passenger seat there. This side's fine. Both the driver and passenger seats are really, really nice. So if we can get another shot of the driver's seat. So there's just, just no damage. It's just nicely worn in, lovely soft leather. All the electrics work and it's silent so there's no uh, grinding on the tracks or anything like that okay so let's start her up we have got an old school immobilizer here so there's a piranha remote central locking fob a nice leather 928 key ring that i had made and then this little fob here Poke it under the dash. Electric aerials just going up. So the Porsche radio works beautifully. It's really, really nice and easy to use. All the speakers work. The fader control works. And I've had fitted down at the bottom there a little aux uh, input. So you can connect a phone to it or an MP3 player if you want to. The aircon works on all settings and it blows absolutely ice cold. It's just had a new condenser fitted. It's on a day like today that's nice and hot, you're going to keep cool in the car. Also, all the um, gubbins behind the dash associated to the heater, all the um, vacuum pipes and so on, they've all been tested and there's no issues there. So the air direction and diversion works perfectly. 
So we're not quite up to temp yet. We need some fuel, which is typical. Oil pressure's bang on. Now the battery meter will read low until you've given it a little, a little rev, and then it will come into life. Um, but that's just, I'm not sure what the reason for that is. I've tested it with the meter and it, it is charging. So there's no charging issues there. The battery in this car actually always holds good charge. It's not a car that you go, go back to after a week of not using it and uh, you find the battery's flat. It's, uh, it's all good. So you can see the visors are good. What else can I show you? I've got a load of rubbish in the glove box, so you'll have to excuse that, but you can see that the glove box light works. Some old tapes in there. Uh, all the switches, windows, everything, all working. Mirrors are fine. What else can I say about the interior? Other than it's very, very nice and very, very brown. Let's have a look under the bonnet. If there's something on this film that you're not sure about or you want to ask any questions, just give me a call and we can go through it. So, new condenser. The engine bay is not, not dressed. I've not, not cleaned it, not, not really done anything to try and make it look better. It's just a nice original engine bay. It's nice to see that these are present and the rubber stoppers at the top there are present. Also, the 14 pin connector covers there. Uh, it's just just in nice condition. The lining here is genuine Porsche that was replaced last year. What else to say? There's not a lot to say about this car. Usually with 928s, when you're talking about them, it involves a list of faults. But this one's very, very, very up together and uh, doesn't need anything. It needs driving and enjoying, and that is the beauty of uh, this particular 928. It took me about two years to uh, get it to where I uh, was happy with it. But we're there. Now we're there, I'm bored, so I want another project, and that's why I'm uh, selling the car. But when it was purchased two years ago, actually it was a really nice car at the time, I'm just very fussy, so it's a sort of program of slow and gradual improvement. But it's unrestored, I know it's been painted, but the interior is totally original. Carpets, everything like that, all original, if we just look under here. If you're a 928 owner, you know that these carpets always suffer damage. But you can see that is literally as it left the factory, which is very rare. Let's have a look in the boot. Being an 82 car, it's not got an electric boot release, so you have to use the old fashioned key. So in the boot, original Porsche detailing kit, which will be sold with the car. Tool kit, complete. You can tell that the uh, screwdriver's new, but everything's there. Got the warning triangle. I won't get the, get the boot carpet out. But it's very, very nice. Again, it's not been hoovered, but the carpet's just in, in lovely condition. So hopefully that gives you some, some idea of it. So it's up for 19928. I am open to offers, but at that money, it's worth every penny. I mean, you look at used 928s and the prices are all over the place, but for a good one that doesn't need any work and is ready to enjoy, I honestly don't think it gets much better than this one. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it, and um, if you do have any questions, just give me a call or send me an email, and I'll be happy to go over anything that you're not sure about. So yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Llewellyn, and my number is 07712 426 170. If I don't answer, leave a message and I'll get back to you. And um, good luck in there. Uh, Finding a 9 to 8 if you don't buy this one, but I think you'll struggle to get one nicer. Okay, thanks.